Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. This is Shorty with Table Syrup. In today's quick video tutorial, I'm gonna explain how to set up your audio connections and routing options in the SoundGrid network. In our previous video, we had set up our SoundGrid inventory where we assigned which IOs, drivers, and servers were available on the network. And today, we're gonna make connections. So we click on audio, SoundGrid connections, or press F3. And this is where we're gonna manage audio patching in the SoundGrid network. In this example, I'm gonna show the most common and standard configuration of multi-rack SoundGrid, and we'll patch audio from a SoundGrid interface into multi-rack SoundGrid and back from the SoundGrid server to the interface. So the first thing we wanna do is double click to add a connection. And the left-hand column, under source, we'll select which SoundGrid I.O. we want to use. In this case, we're going to use the MGB. And we want to route that into multi-rack. So under the destination column, we're going to select multi-rack. Under both columns, you'll see a channel range. Now, this is where we'll assign the number of channels to be used. In networking terms, this is a half duplex connection. So now let's route audio back from multi-rack back into the MGB. So we'll double click to add a connection. We'll select multi-rack as our source. The MGB is our destination. And again, we'll assign the number of channels to be used. So now we've routed audio from our interface into multi-rack through our server, and then back from multi-rack out to the MGB. And just a quick little FYI, uh, Multi-Rack has a maximum rack count of 64 racks. These can be mono, stereo, or surround, and we can use up to 128 inputs and outputs. So now that we've got our routing assigned, we can turn our connections on, select Apply, and click OK. And that's it. So at this stage, we've managed to patch audio from the interface, and we're ready to run our plugins in Multi-Rack. In the next episode, I'll explain how to manage and run your plugin racks, assign inputs and outputs, and run your plugins in multi-rack. Thanks for watching.